One of the best kept secrets in Michigan is that during the winter, lake trout like to leave their deep water homes to chase minnows in the shallow water under the ice near the coasts of some of the Great Lakes. For a few months, ice anglers have the opportunity to sight fish in clear shallow water for these massive fish. Jeff and I have never targeted lake trout through the ice, and not many people are willing to give up their honey holes, so we'll have to go at it the old fashioned way. Do some research, look at some maps, and say a few prayers. Welcome to the Greenway Outdoors. We could already be fishing. Instead, we're 25 minutes in still drilling. Look at him. Like no matter what he's wearing, he can wear normal clothes. He still looks like a homeless person. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> We could be fishing, but no. The plan for the day was to start out in the shallows. And if we didn't see anything by 1 p.m., we'd move out to deeper water. Now in Michigan, you're allowed three lines per angler. So collectively, we were running four tip-ups and two jigging rods in order to up our chances of seeing some action. Jigging inside a heated shanty also makes it a whole lot easier to stay out all day. My point is, I think the best thing that you could do is not act like you're above the whole food chain in the way that it works, but whatever you do consume, honor it, don't waste anything, and then you kinda, you're good, whether you're eating mammals or not, but to draw the line and be like, oh, it's here, is, is and everyone else Must who have. eats more than that is a terrible person. It makes no sense. Yeah. We just need a fish. After about 12 hours of fishing, we only saw one lake trout and one white fish cruise through our holes. And to be honest, they had zero interest in our bait. As night closed in, we decided to pack up. A couple days later, I went out with my friend Brandon. He has a ton of experience lake trout ice fishing and was hoping to put us in the right spot. We went at it hard for another long 12 hour day, but with no success. And with temperatures warming up, and ice disappearing before our eyes, there was no time for a pity party. We packed up and got ready for day three. The plan for today was to get far away from where anyone else would want to go. Topical map showed us where the shallows and rocky structures would be, and we aimed right for them. Looking down the first hole, I noticed the water was about eight foot deep. And just as I was wondering if that was the right depth, I finally got to see what I'd been waiting for. Hey, flag, 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 flag! Guys? Jeffrey won the coin toss, so he gets to grab it first. Unless he falls. I hope he falls. Make sure his head comes up. You have to grab him by the back of the gills. You grab him by the back of the gills. I cannot believe this is finally happening. Keep that tension. Oh, oh let him take line. Don't let it break. Let him do, let him do what he wants. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Three days? <laughs> Worth it? <laughs> I, I didn't think it existed. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it, dude. The excitement and relief we had to finally get that fish was overwhelming, but the party wasn't over. Oh. Oh yeah, there's a fish. Yep. This is the big one I just lost. Oh, it's a nice oh, yeah, this Dude, it's a nice fish. Oh, it's a big walleye. Big, big oh my walleye. gosh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that walleye. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was not what we were expecting. Unreal, that is. I mean, it felt heavy, but I thought it was a lake trout just because that's what we've been getting, and I didn't get a good look at its face, and wow. Now that's a walleye. <laughs> that's not even a real fish. Touch. <laughs> Would you celebrate with me? 
On today's episode, we targeted lake trout through the ice. We logged about 27 hours of fishing before we landed our first laker. The feeling of victory and accomplishment were overwhelming. I believe in part to the fact that it took so long for us to succeed. In my 20-something years on this planet, I've noticed that the harder the journey and the more honorable the task, the sweeter the victory. The path to success is rarely laid out perfectly. More often than not, we can only see a few steps in front of us, and we have an idea of what we want the final destination to be. I take one step at a time and call on my faith to help me see the bigger picture. The book of Isaiah says, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice from behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Now we live in a noisy world, but if you can tune it out and really listen, set your goals high, his guidance will be given to you.